<laughs> I see I missed a lot. Oh, yes. We've expanded the jeff verse right here. The jeff verse my god. All right, we... You also missed pie ASMR. You just you slowly eating a pie? No, no. Ow. It was just... just... It, it, it wasn't slow, is what you're saying? <laughs> it, it was more like relaxation techniques involving controlled breathing while thinking about pies of various sorts. You know. Just... Rock is... Y'all are Rock just crazy. got one question for you, Skid. Yo. Do you like the pie? Piano says, yeah, I know John has already seen this on Twitter, but I wanted to share it with chat as well. The similarities are uncanny. I'm guessing this, I'm guessing based on the signs, this is the Crimson Pinch. Who has, has a hat, wears a hat similar to me, wears t-shirts and jeans like me. And has similar glasses and similar facial hair. However, they are way skinnier than me, so I think they got me beat there. Pinch. From Yuki, Fuyuko is an Alita centaur who is 173 centimeters in height, long messy orange hair and blue eyes, E-cup bust. First encounter was with royalty who they followed home. Oddly fitting. You followed royalty home? Winter, did you do that? Oh my god. <laughs> my quick messy take on how Harpy John flies, that is to say, not at all. Precisely two and a half points for anyone who can guess what bird she is. No, you can't buy anything with the points. Honkin' Canadian. I I do appreciate that she's basically turned herself into an ostrich or penguin because of obvious reasons, but she's trying her best. She's gonna be very she's gonna have to be very muscular to fly, basically. Untitled Harpy game. But she's trying, and that's the important thing. One more thing! Mermaid! 182 centimeters in height, long curly brown hair and golden eyes, V cup bust. First encounter was with a guard who they found taking shelter from the rain. I was holding me a harpy, though. I want to fly. You fly underwater! One more thing. It's the same thing. Just wet. It's just wet sky. The ocean's just a wet sky. Take it from here. Hot takes. Piggy is Pingu. Prideful centaur is 211 centimeters in height. Long, very messy blonde hair and blue eyes. Sea cup bust. First thing I was with a slaver who they found taking shelter from the rain. Fury, masochistic harpy who is 186 centimeters in height, shoulder length, straight black hair and blue eyes, D cup bust. First encounter was with a scholar who ambushed them while they slept and lost. Julie is a sense of Oni, 170 height, E cup bust, medium length, wild, wild white hair and blue eyes. First encounter was with a minotaur who they ambushed in their sleep and lost. Fury, dumb mermaid, who is 179 centimeters in height, medium length, straight orange hair and orange eyes, H cup bust. Their first encounter was with a lumberjack who they stole from. As you can see, I'm on my phone and decided to not spam what I got, so enjoy. Also, wish we were taller. Also, seem to be losing a lot. I don't know. Yeah, you're you're losing these. F well, you you stole from the lumberjack, but then you lost fights against the other two. Afroblade Master, forgetful dragon who is 188 centimeters in height, medium length, smooth red hair, brown eyes, eat cup bust. First candidate with a group of guards to the ambush and they sleep in one. I wish kobolds were in this thing, but a dragon will do. This is as close as you're gonna get in this thing. Yep. <laughs> What's happening to me? Hey, you got wings! I'm the fucking- I'm fucking covered in slime! I like my Harpy diagnosis, so I got what I wanted- I wanted to draw out what the transformation into said diagnosis would look like, which mostly would be terrifying. Clearly, Rosa John here would rather have wings instead of slime. Fun fact, the wing design is based off of Poppy the Harpy's wing from the anime Monster Musume. I'm pretty sure this whole thing is based off Monster Musume. Based uh -huh. on, like, based on the recurring options I'm seeing. Probably. Oh, Reino Zerokami, Chilford Kitsune, who's 172 in height, smooth red hair, golden eyes, E cup. Their first encounter was with a bunch of meddling youths who made who they made reconsider their life choices for the worst. So you made the uh, the mystery machine gang uh, basically become bad guys. Well done, well done, Ray. Oh my God. Why why do we have eyeballs? I I might have forgotten something. Jinkies. Exactly. Try using yellow instead of blue. I also try to add blue to hopefully make the yellow stand out more in the bigger one. Suggestions? Hmm? And the text is... This one's easier to read. That one's still too small to read. Mm -hmm. That one's just too busy to read. And the... I feel the same thing there, kind of. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a little bit easier to read the, read the text on that one. Yeah. 
Buff Don John is a selfless whole star who's 181 centimeters in height, long wavy, blonde hair and purple eyes, M cup bust. Their first encounter was with the hero's party who the ambush and they're sleeping one. I don't even know, that's fair. That I, well, eyelids, eye well, kids. Oh. Oh, right. Right now I remember. I had already put that out of my mind. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Riptide gravity shifter, subconscious dragon, 173 centimeters. Long, smooth blue hair, double D. The first encounter was a village elder who they were followed by. Well, I got my eyes right. Am I being very self-conscious, at least? I don't know how a dragon can be self-conscious, really. But then again... I, I appreciate that tag that was in that last post. Hopping I'll... on the bandwagon before it crashes. <laughs> don't worry, the wheel's already falling off. I found a giant mason jar. She's confirmed to be safely contained. <laughs> this is arguably more disturbing, but somebody needed to clean up the mess. Do you have an idea how badly ooze stains carpet? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for out of it. So my main takeaway from all these emote submissions is that it's fucking hard to make Twitch emotes. Yes, it is. Yup. During his During his workout, Proton John Proton John his muscles burst through his clothes with his pecs making hard for him to see the floor. There's quite the suction of diagnosis on the site, wouldn't you agree? It's a weird monster girl option. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Proton John his muscles burst. In honor of the first anniversary of Smash Ultimate, here's some Tier G-inspired CPU fighters I picked for a little celebration of my own time. Sister thread on Twitter for later. I'm gonna guess I'm Terry. Especially because it's blue. That'd be Emil. That'd be Tim. That's gonna be Josh. That's gonna be Masay. Uh, Tom Fox. Ooh. That's gonna be Steven. Who's Inkling? Is that gonna be Mal because she's the artist? I saw this on Twitter earlier. Hang on. Let me jump back here. I should have linked to it in the, uh... Yeah, uh... Oh, Masse is the Inkling. Uh, then who's the one I didn't get? Who's the one I got wrong, then? Who's Bowser? <coughs> Luca? Oh, yeah, I guess! Yeah... She doesn't like Smash, so that's why I didn't place her in my mind for that being an option. Yeah, but that does make sense, though. No oh, Eggman, so on. Bowser had to do. Touche. Wasn't there an Eggman me, though? Or me costume? Hey, uh, I think so. <laughs> Terry X Bowser, I ship it. There you go. Hmm? Back to the Buru. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy nice. shit. Oh, and yeah. wow. This is amazing. So is this good. Is this up to being a video game image for you, John? I had no idea how to approach this. Probably didn't even draw the robot from the right game, which is really appropriate for this game, writing honestly. Uh, or appropriate, rather. Uh, although, also the reaction to the first picture got me really made my night, especially since you actually yelled out the text. <laughs> a feeling of delightful squishiness wriggled down my internal organs after you clicked the picture. <laughs> since I've been watching your content since your Resident Evil 5 playthrough with Jake. Thanks for getting me into a bunch of neat games over the years and for being you. That is a very detailed description of the warm, fuzzy feeling. It's a very interesting take on that. Uh, no. Yeah, no, these are awesome, Andy. Mm -hmm. Like, these are really good. So I can't wait to see if you if you end up doing more. I hope, like, I hope you do. These are awesome. I like it. Like, these are the first ones you've done, period, right? You said during A? I'm just going to double check on this. Yeah, like, first time watching one of your streams live. So, yeah, no, please keep doing these. These are awesome. I didn't even notice the A was like breaking off because of us. Because of yeah, because Oscar's Oscar uh, rage, and then this one's yeah, got got the Bangayo and the the Ultraman ripoff and the the goddamn tree. <laughs> this has got the personality of Bangayo down perfectly. Like these are that yeah. is super awesome. Those rule. She might not actually be busty enough, but here's my take on your harpy. This works. Thank you so much, Josh. And the last one I got here, Flying Tengu is an untrustworthy dragon who is 181 in height. Shoulder like messy green hair and green eyes, double A bust. First scanner was with a scholar who they defeated due to their distracting features. I mean, they are a dragon. Dragon would be pretty distracting, I guess. Oh, mm -hmm. there's a lot more here. Holy shit. Uh, let's go through these fast. Name Jeff, speech is all great. Hair pink, wavy, floor length hair, eye color blue, attire, sling bikini, bust I see. <laughs> yes, I use the same website as the others. I just use a version that doesn't require an account. You don't need an account for the other one. 
in a random you just put in a random name and get the result. Polkatsune, cheerful slime, 185 centimeters, very long, messy orange hair, black eyes, lovely cup, first scattered with the royalty of the captured. Waluigi's an assertive slime, he's 165 centimeters in height, very long, smooth, red hair, and pink eyes. Their bust would fill an eye cup. Their first encounter was with the cleric who spread rumors about them. Damn, that's a busty Waluigi. Mm hmm. Dan the Enigma, species giantess, hair brunette, bob cut, eye color gray, attire sports bra, and assless chaps with short shorts. Bus size B. I mean, I said mine earlier with the actual one, so. Yeah, and there you go, but apparently you're also a giantess uh, with uh, sports bra and assless chaps. Both times, I'm super tall. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Well, again, giantess. Mm -hmm. Gotta get that giant kick in, kink in there somewhere. Uh, right. Serene Owl! Plant, 189. Medium length, fluffy, blue hair, and golden eyes, A cup bus, first encounter with the Heroes Party who studied them. And I missed uh, Arcade Park, Self of Slime, E cup, very long, curly blue hair, golden eyes, first encounter with a pair of Minotaurs. And last but not least, oh wow. Here's Dan's Double D Bus Dragon Girl with fluffy pink hair. The, thought it would be good to have her as a rogue slash monk, hence the daggers and the WWE belt. Nice, I like that. Seven foot eight. You tall Imagine. motherfucker. That kicks ass cat, thank you so much. And that's gonna do that's it for Art Block. Point. Let's go to what's looking like it's probably gonna be last game of the night. At least I'm willing to spend last game of the night time on it. It's Ninja God in Black. Y'all spoiled me tonight. Mm -hmm. Chaps with this one. Chaps are assless by definition. Chaps with asses are just frontless pants. <laughs> that's a fair point, actually. <laughs> Do people just call them assless chaps to make them sound kinkier? Because they're literally just the same exact thing. Alright. Hopefully, the connector doesn't freak out again. Ninja Guide in Black! When last we left our intrepid Ryu, we had gotten to the Skies of Vengeance. What costume were we using? Yes. I pressed the wrong button, so whatever costume it gives us, it gives us. It might actually be default now. Here's the plot. You can pretty much ignore that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hate- for a game I love so much, I do shit on the plot of this game a lot, because it's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I also crap on the original Ninja Guidance as well, so this is really par for the course here. Yeah. Proton lore would be very appropriate here. You are correct, Arcade. Alright, unfortunately the first load of the game always takes a while, and then it speeds up, so this should be, by the time the text gets back up here a little bit, I should be able to press X and move on. Yeah. Uh... So you know, I'm I'm a bit of a I'm a pretty big fan of Jeff Guiden. You know, oh, Jeff God. Guiden Black. Was, oh God! Listen, it's 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 too easy. <laughs> We're almost there. We've almost done it again. The Dark Dragon, now full of evil intent, joined with Vagord as spawn of evil deities to further capture the territory of Gurdu. This conflict <laughs> continued. Thank God. There we go. Chapter 3, Skies of Vengeance! The Hayabusa village is burned and the Dark Dragon Blade is gone. Ryu is stowed aboard an airship headed for the Vigur Empire. His goal? Vengeance. vengeance. Hey, we got we got our outfit. We got the original Ninja Gaiden outfit. Alright. Have we, have we got everything in here? This is our room in our blimp. This is no time to be sleeping. Now is the time for action! Now is the time for me to remember the buttons. <laughs> It is not sleeping time, it is stabbing time! It's not living quarters, it's killing quarters! It's gonna take me a hot minute to remember what to do here. One of these is the correct room. Hello, hi, I'm breaking in. Do you mind? Oh, I'm stealing your health, thank you. What even is our inventory right now? Uh, we've got the dragon sword and the lunar. Projectile-wise, we've got the bow, some smoke bombs, and the shuriken, and the armlets. We only have the armlet of the sun, which is currently equipped. That ups our attack. We have fire wheel magic. Wait, really? We don't have inferno yet? What? I thought we should... Oh, no, you buy inferno. That's what it is. Uh, we've got three small heals, three full heals, 
one magic heal, two life of the gods, you need nine to get a health extension, and the talisman of rebirth, which is basically a one-up. Or a phoenix down and a re-heal, whatever you want to call it. Was this our room? This looks like our room. This was not our room. We got the map of the airship. Uh, I th is blue ones that we've opened? I totally forget what the actual like code means. Ah, oh, whatever. Fuck it. Right, we don't have any weapon upgrades yet, so I don't have half my good moves. All right, well, sorry to disturb you, bye. Don't, don't anyone look in there. The enemies have yet to find out the most effective weapon against Ryu. Kindness. Your power to a greater level, and you will be able to perform devastating new techniques. Ayana, I'd love to do that, but there's literally not a shop here. <laughs> There's literally not a store in this room. Alright, that one's our room over there. So in here... that No, actually, I've screwed up. This was the room we were in. And is this the one we want? Nope, just more health. Alright, we've checked all the rooms. We can't open this one. That needs the ID card. There we go. Right, I just had to, I needed to wait for them to start fighting me, and now I can actually get the key. Ah shit. Well now I'm on fire. Now I'm on fucking fire! So it's free game! All right, who dropped the key? There it is. Winky! Captain Winky? No. Now, I think Muramasa's statue answer. is down here. It's one of these, it's down. No, that's the save point. Well, I might as well take it anyways. ID card, ID card. <laughs> now for the real question, does John have ninja pajamas? Me, no. Now when you say ninja pajamas, are we talking pajamas with ninjas on them or like an outfit like Ryu's? Probably an pajamas. outfit like Ryu's. All right, let's upgrade our sword so we actually get good moves on it now. Son of a bitch, ugh. Three thousand is what we need. Let's get some more money. How much are you getting a kill? Depends. My screen's starting to flicker now. You know it's really unsettling the whole uh, Ryu going into the door, but like the last part of the animation just has him warped to being in the room at that point. Here we go. Here's the good combat song. No, you don't. Who's coming for me? Who's coming for me? It's you. Cool. Oh, I wish this. I wish the card would stop fl flickering. Oh, hey, we got enough. There we go. Oh, yeah, sure enough. This is the original Xbox. Well, let's go get that sword upgrade, because I really want that sword upgrade. It gets us one of so a lot of important moves. Uh, I don't know why it's just the Xbox that always has this fucking issue. 
Level two Dragon Sword. Now we've got a lot more moves. Damn flippy shit. Sorry, that's like, you just get used to traveling in this way in the game. Killing the business of ninjutsu. Uh, there's no treasure chest in this room, right? Nope. Fuck, that's just gonna keep happening, isn't it? Nah. Don't Don't ruin this for me, Xbox, please. audio one's always fine, but the video one's the one that freaks out the most. It's a combination of my splitter being real angry at me and the cords being pretty old. <sighs> Let's unlock this door before I forget. No flips, just sword. <laughs> FTR, forever the Ryu. I'll grab this, Golden Scarab. We're gonna want a bunch of those. A report from a junior officer lies on the captain's desk. This is regards the incident on February 22nd, which, in which all the locks were deactivated. The source of the problem was found to be a malfunction of the primary power supply unit in the aft cabin. Voltage irregularities caused by the aging of the unit caused the fail safes to kick in, activating emergency power. In this type of situation, all locks aboard the ship are deactivated as a safety measure. I recommend that we upgrade our electrical system as soon as possible. Break shit, I can do that. Let's go Hell do that. Yeah. Let's go break shit. That's my specialty. It's time for a special edition of Ninja ASMR. <laughs> And, and now I am decapitating this fool. <coughs> the ship is made up of a series of control panels containing communications and navigation equipment. Decapitations, lacerations, popping bubble wrap. All <laughs> these things will be... <laughs> and, and making sure to do so while moving back and forth between the sides of the stereo microphone to make those special feelings go up and down your neck. Too early. Mmm, just missed it. Fuck. Oh nope, there's a fifth one. Damn it. Can't believe you just stabbed him in the dick. He didn't need it anymore. <coughs> Tell me I'm wrong. This is the ninja equivalent of taking a watch from a dead guy. All right, we got the ID card. Ship's controls are configured up for autopilot, the course firmly set on the capital of the Gore Empire. <laughs> Maganer, just like, you're wrong. <laughs> what? The multitude of files are stored in this room. None of the documents look as though they contain any important information. Cool, I'm out. I tell you you're wrong. Okay, you're wrong. I don't have to explain it, I just gotta tell you you're wrong. Oh. Problem is, I don't remember where the second uh, golden scarab is. There's three golden scarabs in this stage. One's really easy to miss, but I remember that one. It's the second one I don't remember. Oh, it actually might be. No, maybe not. Well, let's break some boxes. Actually, no, we're going to want to keep those. Back here? This is the thing I used to try to practice my jumps on. I can't remember. Alright, we got some arrows. So we're set for that. Let's go ahead and start using this crank.
too slow, damn it. All right, let's keep cranking. Now, this is the part I gotta be careful about because this is actually an insta-death area if I'm not careful. There you are. Oh god, it's inverted. Bye. Is that the only guy? No, it wasn't. Was this only ever on Xbox? Yes. You can play it on 360 because they have a digital download and uh, obviously it's backwards compatible, but that's about it. You can like, I think you can play it on the Xbox One actually with backwards compatibility. Ooh, did it actually make it to Xbox really? One? Nice. I think so. Yeah, I, I think he's actually right on that. How do I get down? There we go, that's how. <laughs> jump off the entire vessel. Yeah, I didn't want to just jump off the whole airship. Oh, come on. I mean, this is, what's the worst that can happen? <gasps> Free yep. And also, it get, if you play on Xbox One X, it gets like upskilled and stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I have an Xbox One X, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. Yep. So do I. I, I haven't been using it that much, but <laughs> me too. <laughs> like, it was like, yeah, it's performance what? is. What a careless repair job! Are they trying to make fun of ninjas? And now, an extended montage of ninjas repairing windows insufficiently. The ninja fails to understand the proper application of duct tape. Or whatever, you know, I'm not sure what the canon is of ninja <laughs> repairmen. As we can be heard over the intercom system, there has been a malfunction in the electrical system, switching to emergency power. The locks on all doors have been opened as a safety precaution. Ta-da. How many things does it take to install a window? We'll never know. Oh no, the, uh, they're trying to make fun of ninjas. Oh. Not ninjas. No, they can't make fun of those. Alright, am I far enough? I can rarely ever tell here. There we go. Let me stock my arrows. Hope to God I remember where that next golden scarab is. Save our game. As far as I can upgrade the lunar yet, I thought that was something you could do on Act 3. Can I not? There we go. Ah, I see you have one of the golden scarabs, legendary artifact in which many are scattered around the world. If you give it to me, I'll exchange it for something worth your while. Today you have brought me one scarabs, which brings the total number you have given me to one. Here, I'll give you this in exchange. A life of the gods. <laughs> one is the number of scarabs, and the number of scarabs brought to me is one. Oh, I can buy the wooden sword now. And there's the Art of the Inferno. Let's get that. That's important. Can't, I should have bought a Zuna drop as well. Let's get that wooden sword. A sword made from wood. It is used mainly to practice sword fighting and is incapable of cutting attacks. That's just, that's a loser way of thinking. Upgrade the wooden sword. Well, the, here's the thing. You keep, you can. That's actually what you're supposed to do. You can keep upgrading the wooden sword, but it, ha it has like eight levels to upgrade. Let's and you can like some... Yeah, Amazing no. What, weapon. Literally, when you upgrade it all the way, it becomes the unlabored flawlessness. It becomes one of the most powerful weapons in the game, although it got a bit nerfed in black. Uh, the unlabored flawlessness, when you are at low health, does an ex insane amount of damage. Like, you can one combo bosses on oh, hard heard. and expert difficulty. Please tell me it's just like a stick with some nails in it. No, no, it, no, it, no, no, it's it's an ore paddle because it's based off of uh, ah shit. Who's the famous samurai that forgot his sword, but then just beat up his opponent with a uh, with a paddle? 
Right. Is that Musashi? I think that actually might be Musashi. Uh, let me look it up. Samurai or Miyamoto Musashi. Yeah, it's based Are off of Musashi. Are Musashi? <laughs> I mean, well, that's what that legend is based off of, uh, yeah. So. I, I know. <laughs> All right, I need to get back in that back pass, but I forget how to get there without some ridiculous wall jumping. Oh, uh, man. Oh, or just doing man. that. Never mind. <laughs> uh, here we go. On April 13th, 1612, Musashi, about age 30, fought his duel with Sasaki Kojiro, who was known as the demon of the Western provinces and who wielded a, no -da a Nodachi, a Japanese greatsword. Musashi came late and unkempt to the appointed place, the island of Funajima, uh, the duel was short. Musashi killed his opponent with a bakin that legend says he'd carved from an oar used on the boat that carried him to the island. Yes, that's that's <laughs> what it is. So yeah. Bad so this work. so this you carve like an upgrade like six times, seven times, and it becomes an ore paddle, basically. So it's slow, but it does an insane amount of damage and it speeds up when you actually have the uh when you're actually at low health. There's actually a little bit more to this duel, uh, it says on Wikipedia. Uh, Musashi's late arrival is controversial. Sasaki's outraged supporters thought it was dishonorable and disrespectful, while Musashi's supporters thought it was a fair way to unnerve his opponent. Another theory is that Musashi timed the hour of his arrival to match the turning of the tide. The tide carried him to the island. After his victory, Musashi immediately jumped back in his boat and his uh, and his wait, his flight from Sasaki's vengeful allies was helped by the turning of the tide. Another theory states he waited for the sun to get in the right position. After he dodged a blow, Sasaki was blinded by the sun. So all so, dick moves, basically. Pretty much. Yep. Musashi, uh, Miyamoto Musashi, the heel samurai. No, you don't. No, you don't. I have counter. I have, I don't have counter? I thought I had counter. That reminds me. One of the things I love about that Midway um, wrestling game is the fact that, like, half the moves you do, the announcers complain about what you're doing is illegal, which is just, like, yeah. amazing. Uh, the other one is up here. There we go. That's the one most people miss. I, I wouldn't be surprised, like... Musashi employed unconventional techniques to win over his enemies, including talking shit about their relatives, <laughs> uh, befriending their pets and or children, still and the most... better... <laughs> Someone said still a better heal than Dan. Okay, samurai who fucking killed people versus Twitch streamer. There's kind of a mismatch here. The remaining guy I'm supposed to kill. What? Oh, is it one of those stupid ones where he's hidden? Musashi's most brilliant maneuver was inventing the doorbell so he could mount it on someone's door, ring it, and then run away. <laughs> <laughs> before, the ding-dong before... ding ditch master, they used to call him. <laughs> That's right. The ding-dong dodashi. Oh, my God. <laughs> When was the last time I was on? Way too long ago. The before times. The deadly ding dong ditch. What the ding dong dodge? Yeah. <laughs> nice. The original smack talker Skywalker. He also he also uh, he also demoralized opponents with crass smoke signals. <laughs> All right, you let's fight the boss. It's the fat man. Where is Hornstein? You need oh. He's got man. a rail gun. And he's surprisingly accurate with it. Oh shit, I don't think I remember how to fight this guy. Nope, I sure don't. Right, because he's immune to flying swallows in this version of the game. Oh man, I just caught with the worst pun related to that. Uh <clears throat> The Falcon fight. Uh oh. Well, given the fact that the thing was carved from oh, before. Oh shit! Not the grab! Not the electric grab! And with the amount of disrespect that went on, I guess you could really say it was a row blow there. <laughs> oof, oof. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I said it was a bad pun. I did not. 
claim it was a good one. Arriving late to the fight. That's a padlet. Oh, fuck off. Listen. Listen, man. It's 320. You know what that means. Bad, bad ideas, bad decisions, you know? Oh, I thought you were going to go with more ninja ASMR. Oh, geez, I wish I could, but I, I can't think of anything for this context. <laughs> oh, come on! One hit! Oh, that actually might... Oh. Musashi's first kill was years old. He challenged the samurai to a duel, and then Musashi's father invited him to the house to apologize and beg for his son's life, whereupon Musashi burst in with a metal spoon and beat the samurai to death. <laughs> Musa uh, Miyamoto Musashi, master innovator. Well, I guess we got rid of our ride. This might have not been the best idea, Ryu. Ryu, I don't think you fully thought this through. I hardly ever do. How do you guys feel uh, about the Hindenburg? Oh, geez, that's a that's an image there. Also, I'm now thinking about Musashi as like Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. Oh Kevin Musashi. <laughs> Kevin McAllis Dashi. Miyamoto McAllister. And stage over. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't recharge my Nimpo. I'm gonna have a bad score. Mm, yep. Did we get enough bonuses to save it? Nope, head ninja. Damn it. Chapter 4, Imperial City Infiltration. Ryu has escaped from the crash of the airship. Spread out before him is the city of Tyron, capital of the Bagur Empire. Nice landing. Ta-da! I'm just gonna avoid all- Nope, I'm not gonna avoid all these electric wires. I'm just gonna go for a nice ride. With my and do a sick hands. trick in the process. And then he slammed a Mountain Dew on the way down. Said, Tony no. Hawk Pro Ninja will really sold out after. Not the today. <laughs> not. I'm not gonna get electrocuted today. All right, we're gonna beat this stage, and then that'll be it for the stream. I forget how long the stage is, but I do know we meet everyone's favorite. Ninja Gaiden character, aka pretty much the only other fucking character in the game. Oh, he was super dead. I just that was overkill. And we still got the bonus. Amazing. Dick stab city. Nope. You got to say aye, aye. You must go now to Han's bar. You should be able to spot it easily due to its garish neon sign. Han's bar is a well-known <laughs> as well as the center of the It's got a stupid-ass sign, Ryu! Go there! Musashi blinded his opponents with garish neon signs. <laughs> Before he just, beating the he just had a supply of them for some reason. It was so weird. Before beating the shit out of them with a sharpened pool cue. <laughs> <laughs> There's one of our big heels back. I think like all the all the dirtbag Musashi uh, plays over the centuries. <laughs> Musashi wants to eat a car, like the entire thing, with a fork. Do I really not have counter attack? I do. Why it's not working? While blocking X or Y. I mean. Crap, man. Hmm. Look at that. That's like his stomach plug on the ground back there. That, I'm no doctor, but that doesn't even seem physically possible. What with cartilage and bone? It, that, that was like one clean chunk. Oh shit, grenade launchers. He put down his grenade launcher to hit me with an electric rod. In rod, we try. Oh god, this is a bad idea. Just three? It's just three. Happy bagel. <laughs> oh shit! <Once> <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Are you reading the same one I am? Yeah, once Mad when Dale. nobody was looking, Musashi Miyamoto stole 40 swords. That's as many as four tens, and that's terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> I need a skulky for that one. Musashi once beat somebody to death with their own skull. <laughs> The Musashi devised a new medical procedure to remove someone's skull without killing them and proceeded to kill someone after removing their skull. Just to prove he could do it. Are you guys turning Musashi into fucking, like, <laughs> ancient Chunk Norris here? Yeah. Or Brock it, Samson. It, 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 more Brock Samson than Chuck Norris because, you know, at least that would, that would not make him a complete asshole. That's your yeah, shame. exactly. Wait, sir, grab your autograph! Who was that? Listen. <laughs> Bro, fucking Samson. <laughs> oh, God, you guys can see it? Uh, He's closer to Chuck Norris than Chuck Norris ever was. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Musashi once ate a brick like it was a loaf of bread. <laughs> Alright, so that door can't be- oh, uh, that's not even a door I can open, never mind. Yeah. Was Musashi ancient Chuck Norris? It's one of nature's mysteries! That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a pretty standard technique there, Poker Joker. Um, Musashi was famous for the technique of tapping on a person's shoulder from the opposite direction to make them turn away from him, leaving them open for a devastating attack. <laughs> <laughs> the classic. Musashi once got the better of his opponents on the schoolyard by throwing devastating, uh, <clears throat> devastating, devastating insults, which he'd follow by throwing razor blades at them. <laughs> Where's the guy's even shooting at me? Is he in a guard tower? Oh. Oh, that asshole. Oh, I do have to do that. Shit. Musashi once made Minoru Suzuki wet himself. Ooh, no, that's That was impressive. never verified. I don't know, man. I'd believe it. Murder Grandpa is fucking terrifying, but I think Musashi can get one up on him. Ryu, grab the damn thing. There you go. Stop doing sick flips and actually grab it. Oh, that's a good one. Musashi devised a technique to eliminate his opponents by coming up with a name that generated a monster girl with the <laughs> ever elusive Z cup. <laughs> A secret he never shared and, <laughs> until his deathbed. And the only person he shared it with, he immediately killed after his death. After killed his after his death! After. That's, he's, just, he's just that fucking good! <laughs> no one would have believed... Death wouldn't have believed Musashi was dead, so he had to bring a witness with him. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Death was like, okay, you're fucking with me, right? Musashi's like, alright, hold on, give me five seconds, I'll be right back. This is Chuck, I just killed him. This cannot be opened yet. Well, shit. No, the chronology was that he died, and then the Ooh, other person died. I got nunchucks now. By his hands. Yeah. So he basically. He basically had him like. He basically was like Brock. Uh, Brock. I almost said Brock Lesnar. Fuck. Uh, Brock Lesnar. Oh my God! No, no, they're very two very different beings. There. I mean, to be fair, Brock Lesnar is a human cheat code with his physique, but Brock Samson is the better. Uh, God damn it. Uh, like Brock Samson, he like he got hit by a truck. 
while he had someone in a chokehold. He ended up dying from it, but the guy was still in that fucking tongue and death grip he had on his throat. Uh. <laughs> Musashi and Teddy Roosevelt almost got into a fight. There has not been a winner declared yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dude, this is easy. Can Brock Lesnar grab someone with his ass? No. Nope. Oh, that's true, yeah. Brock Sampson literally had a guy's hand up his ass because he said there was a key up there to, gra uh, to get. Literally used his muscles to grab the guy by the hand, uh, by his wrist, and threw him into the other guy and killed both of them. Oh, shit, no, these are Black Spider Clan. I can't fuck with these guys. Hang on. <laughs> Musashi's last words They hit me with a truck. <laughs> the reverse muffinism technique. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, the puppet fought back. Oh shit! Really not? There we go. Well, he he he, he was the ancestor for Jim Henson Musashi, you know. Oh my God, you guys! <laughs> just going with it at this point, just, just non-stop. <laughs> it's actually pretty impressive. Masashi died peacefully of cancer at 61 years old. As a feudal samurai with tons of enemies, that's a good way to go. Yeah, he just... No one could fucking take him down. And when they tried and to bury him, when they tried to bury him, the cancer got them. <laughs> what? His cancer was... Like, the cancer was so supercharged by Musashi's pure machismo that it became contagious. Yes. This is known as the Black Plague in Europe. <laughs> I like to buy your finest stabby them. things. <laughs> would tell, would tell us the photos that the size of their hands proves uh, something. <laughs> and put your hands into their face and they look at them. <laughs> and then he, thinking, just, he, he just looked to everyone else like, got him. <laughs> Wait, Perseus, we, you're not thinking of Brock Samson on accident. We're literally comparing him to Brock Samson. Uh, I'm gonna buy a map. We're gonna need that at some point. And let's get the Azuna <laughs> drop. Tickle, tickle, got him. <laughs> and now we can upgrade the Lunar. Yes, please. Now the Lunar can stab. You're a ninja, right? A while back, there were a lot of ninjas dressed like you running around here, but they've disappeared as of late. I wonder if they were all killed. Wait, wait, wait. Musashi's cancer was a crab, and it became like massive. Was that a giant enemy crab then? It couldn't That's have been. That's who Musa they got it from. No, that could not have been Musashi's giant crab because they would have they would have attacked its weak point. I am ninety nine percent certain that that anything manifested from Miyamoto Musashi would have zero weakness. Except for the fake weakness, the decoy ah. weakness. When you hit the weak point, you take the massive damage, not the crab. <laughs> it's just a big red button and uh, that's a self-destruct, but it's just like it's just like one of those little peel-off stickers that says got him after you press it. <laughs> and it just fucking sucker punches you with a boxing glove. Sorry, I'm switching up between weapons, and I I normally just stick with the dragon sword because it's if you want to kill things fast, it's the weapon to go with. But the lunar is really fun to use. It's a very flippy, and the nunchucks are fun too, but they don't cut, so they take a lot of hits to kill anything. So I just usually avoid the nunchucks until we get the better nunchucks. Self-destruct for thee, not for me. Behind the scenes to hinder our progress. Do not let them leave Tyron alive. Okay. Miyamoto Mustashi actually got stung by the legendary jellyfish uh, Big Larry and lived. <laughs> now it only no. hurts when you touch it. Larry touch. San. <laughs> you got stung by Larry Sama. <laughs> Oh, you know what? It's actually safe to use magic on this one now. I realize what stage I'm in. Oh, that's a good one. Musashi won the tour to Japan on a horse with four broken legs. 
He carried the horse. <laughs> you guys are literally just at this point just doing the Chuck Norris facts, right? Like these, I remember half of these lines you said. So yeah, these are. I was honestly, going. To, <laughs> I was gonna I, do. See, see, here's, here's the thing. I, I'd, I'd rather focus more on facts that don't make him a badass, but make him an asshole. <laughs> You, you know? just want to make him a dick, that's all. Yeah, I, I, I still like the idea that he vents the doorbell just to do a ding-dong dash on someone. Uh, fun fact, the uh, in, in Musashi's time, uh, the whole leaving the shit by the door thing, that is already passed. But he was the one who got the idea to light it on fire. That's right. The ding dong time to see warrior. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm about to wake my parents with how much I'm laughing tonight. <laughs> see, uh, for, since I last been on this stream here, uh, John, the space I'm in for my studio actually had a wall built for it and a door set up on it. So now I actually have a bit of privacy. So I can ooh. laugh as loud as I want. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Hell yeah. Ooh. Ding Dong Dynasty Warriors, that's really good, though. <clears throat> Can't we make him a bad asshole? He's a badass and an asshole. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Musashi was the first to discover Ds. <laughs> <laughs> when someone responded with Ds what, his his eyes reportedly had a, had a huge sparkle in them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're being told about a mysterious, beautiful woman who murders fiends with no problem. Whoa, get back up there, boy. You ain't done down, you ain't done up here yet. Musashi would send scrolls to his enemies saying that he could do a 360 blindfold slash and that he had just finished slaying with their mother. <laughs> Musashi was the Joseph Joestar of history. <laughs> That's pretty apt. Killed fast enough? Yes, barely. Cool. Musashi All right. knew who Joe was. <laughs> I think... If enemies start falling from the sky, I think we're set to end the stage. No, they're not. Oh, right. We gotta open the bar door. But first, let's oh. get a secret. Uh, Musashi. that's not the secret, but hang on. I gotta remember exactly where I start this run. Musashi was renowned for his expertise in building gates and fences for people's yards. After a particularly frigid winter, he refused to haul his career. His clients frequently referred to him as a brave fencer. <laughs> <laughs> that's Puppet Master 9 there for you. There's our garish sign. Yes! Yes! Sorry, sir, but you're gonna need one to get in. Damn it, stop by the bouncer. I can't believe a bouncer actually is a like, stopping a fucking ninja. A he may be a ninja, but he has respect for in dark alley. Um, in his fellow wait, person. Only a ninja I, I don't know. Is that does he respect for that? Well, just the ones that don't try and kill him. Alright, let's get this. Let's get lined up. You run, up run, engines. run, jump, and missed. Fuck. Oh, that's a really cool secret there, though. Yeah, like, they the blue walls are meant to mark where it is, just in case you don't know. There we go. This is for the Windmill Shuriken. And also the prototype Xbox. <laughs> which, if you interact with it, what a strange looking machine. Suddenly Ryu's body feels charged with energy. It is a free full heal you can use whenever you want, as long as you are in a stage where you can access this. But it's just, cool. for some reason, like, Team Ninja was really obsessed with the original prototype Xbox, and they slipped it into all their games in this generation. It's pretty good. That is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Musashi always followed his nose with a fruity taste that showed. Let's, let's show you guys the windmill shuriken. It is exactly what you think it is. Big boy shuriken. It comes back to you. <laughs> when he got his ass handed to him, Musashi would do what any good samurai duelist would do. He would blame his archer, quote unquote, support. <laughs> I 
Okay, so now we need to figure out where we gotta go next. You better believe we're coming up with ninja memes. Hell ninja yeah. Ninja slash samurai memes, you know? Oh, that's a good one. Musashi inventing cinnamon toast crunch and then positing what makes them what why the kids love them. And while the enemies while his foes contemplate the question for endless seconds, he would sneak for up. Endless and seconds. Break them. He would sneak up and endless break them seconds. Back. <laughs> Endless seconds of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, obviously. That's right. I I was able to see why kids loved it. Damn it, just missed that it. Was, that was years ago. Uh, I know why. It's a delicious diversion. Colonel. Oh shit! In black, this doesn't happen here now, does it? Because that would suck. No, nope, looks like it's safe. So it's locked and can't be opened from this side, so that ain't an option. Is the other staircase available right now? No, it's not. Oh, that's terrible. Mad bagel. <laughs> Mad bagel. The dad's joke. No, that's terrible. That's why bagel was mad. I don't blame him at this point. Alright, which door do I have to go through now to actually... Finish this stage. I forget. <laughs> Miyamoto could. Uh, Miyamoto can get to the center of a tootsie pop with zero licks because he cracks it right over someone's skull to get there. <clears throat> Shit! Why am I? Uh, here's you. All right, Poker Joker's got another one. Musashi would often invite those with whom he had a quarrel with to his home under the guise of reconciliation. He would remove the stuffing from a cushion that his foe then sat on being refilled with air. The sound of the air escaping from the seat caused his foe such shame and embarrassment that Musashi could hardly be noticed when he approached, blade in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well good. done. Oh, the shot. oh, it's just by from Musashi, thank or from Muramasa. God damn it, now you got me saying fucking Musashi. <laughs> <laughs> Brave asshole Musashi. <laughs> Hashtag true Musashi facts. Musashi once lost a duel to an opposing samurai, but he denied being a loser because he claimed that his katana was disconnected. Scholars to this day debate on the true meaning of this statement. <laughs> Free gift! Hans Bar party ticket! Hell yeah! Yo, man! You got a ticket! Oh, man. Paradise. Thanks for ever reminding me on that just then, because I definitely would have just oh. been looking around for a switch I had forgotten about as a result. Oh, jeez. On the so, plus here, side, the... yeah, here we go. Black Spider Cannon landing now, so it means we're almost on the stage. So, uh... Oh, uh, shit! This, okay, this fine, reminds this me way. of a... of a wrestling-related thing from earlier. So, um... John, do you ever watch uh, the show Thunder in Paradise? <gasps> Sadly, no, but I know about it. Huh. Oh my god, I remember that show! It, it, the, one of the best parts about it was that the majority of it was shot on Disney World properties. <laughs> um, so there's like an episode where they go to like fake Ganistan or whatever it is because some, <laughs> what, the female lead had a shared dream with a prince from this unnamed country. Um, the entire thing is shot in the Morocco pavilion in Epcot. Which is like a very small area, but they milk every single inch of that space. It's hilarious. All right. It's time to end the stage with the cutscene that everyone who plays this game remembers. One of, I should say. There's a couple. Let's go meet our new friend. And put on our old clothes, apparently. Say hello to Rachel. She looks a lot like Nina Williams from Tekken. Kinda. <laughs> nice hammer. Nice leather daddy outfit. And then they became best friends. And then they fucked. No, 
They went to the roof. I'm Rachel, hunter and slayer of fiends. So that was a fiend. You don't see them much nowadays. It's hard to believe they were ever human, isn't it? Human? Anyone with susceptibility to the curse, whether they are a saint or a sinner, can succumb to it and become a fiend. So what does that make you? Complex. And you? I'm looking for a greater fiend named Oku. Do you know him? Why are you looking for him? I'm going to kill him. You have no idea what you're up against, do you? If he could be killed, I would have done it myself long ago. Oh, fucking hell. Don't cut out now. The plot... It's all really, the plot's fault. The plot is real thick here, huh? Busy night. All right. Well, bye, Rachel. Bye, Spider-Man. Yeah. I love your movies. <laughs> Deliver me some pizzas. Hi, hi, that Nazi from Indiana Jones. Don't mind me. I'm just passing by. By the way, good luck with that Doku guy. Oh, also, hi, Travis. Touchdowns, VA. And I know Rachel quite well. Oh God, you're right. Do you have Spider-Man powers too? No, you just left. He he uh, he he depart. He left with a departing Moe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how do we do here? Well, we didn't get the full time bonus, but everything else we got, so we might strike Master Ninja. Nope, Greater Ninja. Fuck. Damn. Well, it's my own fault for not remembering where to go. All right, I got to go down to a, uh, you fools, that was Medic TF2. Yeah, you know what else he did? Oh, oh, never mind, you're not making that joke. He's off the heel heavy. Touche. Never mind, I thought you were like, you didn't didn't know he was Travis Touchdown. I, you were late on the joke. He has Batman powers. I can't mm -hmm. even see what's happening on screen anymore. It just cut out. It just, it had enough power for the cut scene and then it lost it. And as soon as I got to fix it, it came back. Chapter 5, The City of Fiends. Tyron is full of mysteries, strange creatures called fiends, and Rachel the Fiend Hunter. However, Ryu still has no clues for the whereabouts of Doku. Alright, I gotta save, and then we are done for the night. We gotta do an art block, obviously. Oh, we got the lily key. It was on the roof of the bar for some reason. Cool, that's it. Well, and now you've been introduced to Rachel with her war hammer. Yes, that's not an axe, it's actually a hammer. That's it. And so much... <laughs> you don't know, he could have Spider-Man powers and hung on the underside of the building where Ryu couldn't see. That's true. Might have tricked mm. us there. Yes, that was actually a hammer. It's literally called Warhammer. Do the ratings matter, like, for endings or just bragging rights? Bragging rights, honestly. It's all score-based. That's going to do it for tonight, ladies and gent. We're going to do... an art block... Read it. Any tone? Wow! I should have known someone was ready for it. Uh, and then we'll call it there. I still left the fucking art block transition up again. <laughs> One of these days, I will actually remember to swap that correctly. All right, let's do a quick check of eggs. Blaze 1013 for 28, Little Lich game, or Little Glitch game rather for 21. Uh, Darker Turbo for new, Keaton Kid for six. Snowy Duck for 12, and Above Wilson for 59. Thank you all for seven. Do we have an egg or are you getting the classic? Let's find out. I think you're getting the classic egg. You will give me an egg. Winter says, here's a dad joke. My dad is like a boomerang. I hope. Whoo! <laughs> yeah. Whoo! I, I saw that earlier. It was like, ooh. And that's why Bagel was bad. <sighs> that, is that why Bagel hissed earlier in that animation? Yep. Cador, yeah. Cador, yeah. thank you for the bits. Thank you. They reacted hard as well. right at that time. <laughs> oh my god. Flaming one up Cheat says, in celebration of both Smash Ultimate and my birthday, same day, have a dollar. Happy birthday, by the way. 
Keep the Smash theme going. Any last hopes or wishes for a certain character? I would have loved Isaac from Golden Sun, but hey, at least he's back in the game in some way. Uh, I would like my boy Ryu, Hayabusa, to come in here, but I highly doubt they will do two characters named Ryu. So, I would love for Sora, but I doubt that to hell. Gino is still like my gut check, but uh, I don't know for sure. It'd be funny at this point, because now, because Geralt of Rivia is for some reason in, uh, or Geralt, however you say it, uh, is in Daemon X Machina as a pilot for the mechs. Oh, well, we do have we have two Roys. Hmm. No, that's true. I have no idea. All right, let's do one last art block for the knights. Uh, also, there was a post on Twitter I missed earlier because I only put it on Twitter. There we go, got that queued up as well. Let's, oh my God. There's fucking Musashi art on, on the art block too. Oh, great. Yes. yes. Oh, you guys. You fuckers. Forto Legends, Open Minded Dragon, 153 centimeters. Long, curly, silver hair, and orange eyes. D cup. First encounter was with a Seki victim who they made reconsider their life choices for the worse. Wow, someone. What the fuck? Proton John is now 1,000 feet tall after they were part of a successful experiment. Proton John regrets nothing. Proton John flicked their fingers with intention. They grew so big that a film company wanted them to start their own feature film, which was to be named Attack of the 50 Foot Proton John. Their body changed to have a chubby buff appearance. Proton John was practicing their alchemy when it backfired. They grew so big that a film company wanted this. Wait. What? Other than their ass bloating out to extreme proportions, of course, which massive. W, if this is you, you're putting on a lot. You're putting it way too thick, buddy. You gotta tone this down. Mm -hmm. When I said there's quite a selection of diagnoses on the site, I meant there are a lot of more options than just Monster Girls. Yeah, you got you gotta tone this down a bit, dude. This is too much. This is way too much. Mm -hmm. Play Forbidden Memories already is... God, did you do this? No, you didn't. Okay. So, fair to mine were different. Turns out everyone was using that one, and they were using a different one. Okay. <laughs> Play Forbidden Memories already. God damn it. Blame Dan for that, it said. Very quick little sketch of what I felt would be your reaction if you were really in that Jeopardy game. The slow annoyance as the NPCs kept answering had trouble figuring out how to show them answering before you had a chance to do so, but might figure it out later after I get some rest. Side note, wasn't really sure my design for Lori Mo was your pick or not, so I ended up finally sending it to you through Discord. I saw the message for that. Uh, I'm gonna put up a poll for that if you didn't hear earlier. I like I like that one. I have a couple ones I like, so I want to see what uh, the overall community thinks. So she beat the final six. Message. You can't save during the final six to begin with, Bob Mass. That one kind of doesn't work. Lucky uh. Arla Une, 207 centimeters, long fluffy purple hill pick eyes, pea cup bust. The first encounter was with a monk who they captured. Ow, my back. Touche. Tiger Browse is a shy dragon who is 148 centimeters in height. They have very long fluffy blue hair and gold eyes. Their bust would fit a G cup. Their first encounter was with a priest who they received a scar from. Last one for the night. If I'm going to jump on the bang wagon, just post my monster stones on the booer. Might as well actually draw it, unlike all these other hosers. <laughs> Real talk, not much going on for the holidays. All my friends are busy with Crimbo stuff, so these streams are great for keeping my, me creative and starving, staving off old seasonal depression. Thanks for all the streams and the great community. No worries. Always glad to give art prompts to people. And sorry you ain't got much going on for Crimbo, but hopefully you can hang out with us for Crimbo. Uh, speaking of Crimbo, obviously no stream on Christmas Day. I'm gonna be spending that with family. But there will be likely a stream on the 23rd, which will be, that'll be the last stream before Christmas. Heads up, there is probably not a stream next Saturday. Because I may be babysitting my nephews. I need to double check with my sister if that's actually happening, because she said she was going to try to find someone else to do it instead. So I will keep you posted on that. Also, Friday's stream is not going to be Mario Maker, it's going to be a murder mystery. The murder nice. mystery returns. 
Challenge done. Here's Dragon Girl Pro. Wait, sorry. Proton John! Being paranoid that Rosa John isn't getting her sleep. Or Pon Pon is behind her, ready to grope her. One of the two. Also, I know this comment is going to be totally out of context, but god damn it, John, you and your stupid mech close range. <laughs> uh, sorry, Horizon. It made me laugh, though. Why not stream with them? Do you think I'm going to expose my nephews to you guys? Uh huh. To Art Block? Hell no. Uh huh. We're going to go play video games, and we're going to leave it at that. And also, my my sister's internet's not good enough for it, so. Make him play Intelligence Cube. <laughs> so then when we see the annual video on the night of the 23rd, you goddamn right, Dovey. Or sorry, that's not Seraphim. I thought, why did I say that's that Sephiroth? That's all the numbers. And I said, Seraphim, you're right. We're going to be seeing that video on, on the right date. And John is weird, not cruel. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Horizon, for adding, I guess, to the, the Succubus crew yet again. So exams are finally done. I need to improve on studying, but not let myself down after that. So I've tried something in regards to my art project I had in mind since the Rosa John or the Rose John drawing up last time. One of your favorite Pokemon being Jolteon, I had a Genjika design that might need improving. It doesn't have a general theme except electricity and being fast. Uh, as for me, I had made a white mage Togekiss because I felt that Pokemon suited me, minus the lucky part. I want to make a Dynamax Rose John drawing, so we gotta have a team to fight her. Got a previous design for your Genjinka posted on the Buru. Can skip if you want. Uh, I'm gonna say, this looks more like a Kingdom Hearts, like, form. Yeah. I look, it, mm -hmm. I, so it does kind of get the speed da design down, especially like the little wing aspect on the shoes here and that. And yep. the little scar for like the, the Jolteon sharp shape and that. But yeah, no, I really like this. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That does look pretty cool. Yeah, Jukrim says it looks like Kingdom Hearts Master form. There, I wasn't sure what yeah. form. Yeah! It was definitely had that vibe to it. And this was the older design that they were working on. It's a very football-themed one. There is a previous design based on football armor and electricity. I like it, but not at the same time. Tell me what you think if you want. I think it's the fact that you don't usually see, like, the football equipment outside of, like, a jersey. So it's more so hidden. And that's what uh -huh. kind of throws off the look of it as a result. Okay. And now I can't click backwards. There we go. Shade is an envious centaur who is 178 centimeters in height, medium length, smooth, orange hair, and golden eyes. D cup bust. First encounter with was a hunter who they befriended. And this is your fucking Musashi picture. When I heard beat up people with a neon sign, I thought of this TF2 weapon. There you go, he's ready. Nice. He's ready with his garish neon si sign. Mm -hmm. Oh, god damn it. Ah! <laughs> Spoiled mermaid. There you go. That fits in the boat. Almost two meters tall. Shoulder length, curly brown hair and green eyes. H cup bus. First encounter was with a ninja who they seduced. <laughs> and then murdered. <laughs> and then murdered. Damn. That's some that's some uh some samurai skills if you're fighting with an H cup with a sword. Because of fucking course Miyamoto Musashi is a hot chick in fate. Yes, most famous people are hot chicks in fate. Fucking King Arthur! <laughs> Fun fate factor. Actually, two Musashis. The one you're looking at isn't actually supposed to be a world hopper, but Musashi is canonically supposed to be male in all other worlds. Well, there you go. There you go. Horizon's got her, got her back and got, her, got us up to date on that. Except Thomas Edison, he's a hot furry? Really? Amazing. Ed Mario, Sheep Girl, Blue Bun, Hazel, Keyhole, Turtleneck, and Low Rise Micro Skirt with Whale Tail, Bus Size A Cup. Funny enough, just swap the hair and eye colors, and this is literally a gender bent version of you. Nice. Well, minus the Turtleneck and Thong, of course. No, I believe that you have those. Too late. Big John. I literally can't use Big John. There's literally a streamer called Big John. I literally can't use this emote. I literally can't use a Big John emote. There's literally a Big John streamer. <laughs> so, zero, zero. If you want to know actual feedback for, like, the colors, two kind of works, seven kind of works, mm, four works a little bit. I don't like six. I don't like five. 
Edison in Fates is carrying all the powers of the U.S. President, so he fires freedom lasers from his chest. That could be a lie, and I wouldn't believe it, because I want it to be real. I wouldn't care, I just want that to exist. Oops, oops, too far. I just hear that name and I shudder. <laughs> Musashi. Ooh, do it again. The entire Ninja Gaiden Black section of tonight's fortune cookie in a nutshell. Yep. Accurate. Yep. Too accurate. Here's my cat, Bagel. What's his Buff Ton John universe name? Buffle? Who knows? Run away to see Chugga Steroid. And Nintendo Capri Dumbbell for TRG. Bagel wanted to join and loves using my biceps as his costume. Chugga Steroids! Oh my god. Please don't, please don't buff my cat. No. He's already, he's already a bulldozer. He does not need any more. Yes, Fate Go and Edison ran on the power from the U.S. presidency. Amazing. Buff ton, buff bagel would be a tiger. That's also fair. I am impressed at how fast you did this, Mel. You just must have been ready for this. Last picture for tonight's stream. I was kind of inspired by watching you play Ninja Gaiden Black to draw this. Here's Rosa John as Rachel, killing Ryu with... Kindness? <laughs> Is that the code word? Is that what she named them? Uh... Either way, thank you, Mel. It's great, as always. And... Any last posts? We got two more. Atomical! atomical nomical. A bit rushed, but here are my Monster Girl results. Here's a diagnosis for Atomical... Uh... Nomical. Atomical Nomical is a tac tactless Lamia who is 166 centimeters in height. They have shoulder length, smooth red hair, and black eyes. G-Cup bust. The first encounter was with a sailor who they seduced. Anatomical is a likable slime with who's 162 in height, long curly brown hair and orange eyes, double D cup. The first encounter was with a group of thugs who offered them a place to stay. Nice. Well done on that. And our last post for the night. You actually got it to work in Soul Cal. Oh, <laughs> this Lele. It's a different person doing it this time. Soul Calibur 6, the sliders don't go that far, so I improvised with the heart. <laughs> oh my god. Lele, oh I'm very impressed. Someone had done a Rosa John before, but they did not find a way to do the bust. Congratulations on outdoing them. That is oh, hilarious and amazing, fantastic. and I love it. Holy crap. Heart in quotations. Yeah, no, Juker, who did all the characters for uh, for the Soul Calibur segment on Coliseum, is like, it's true, you have to heavily improvise by shoving things into the models. So yeah, that's one way to do it. And they succeeded. Thank you, Lele. And is that it on the brew? I think it is. Nope, one more sneaks in right at the end. Is this Edison? Is that Edison? Yep, this is Fate's version of Thomas Edison. That fucking rules. <laughs> What the that hell? kicks so much ass. That's so good. It looks like there's so many things in that. Like there's I know. Might's outfit. There's like it's so good, dude. Robbie, like Robbie Rotten's fucking suit design with like that little thing going down his legs. It's so fucking oh, over the top, God, and it's great. Damn. I love it so much. Also, I forgot this. This one snuck in on Twitter earlier. Hey, John, here's a little drawing of Bagel. Here's He's a gift and spacing for gift, the gift sub. So can we join the Discord? And I may have got to join. Can I join? So I still have to wait. Sorry, everybody's not, everybody's not good. Please, lots of homemade gifts for you. Look at that cute little Bagel. Uh, if your sub, your sub will give you access to it. And if once your sub runs out, you have about a month still. So try it. It might let you in, but it might not if you weren't didn't join in time. So you might have to wait until your sub renews. Either from a gift sub bomb or like Twitch Prime or something like that. Tesla exists and he hates Edison with a burning passion. That also makes a lot of sense. All right. Yep. That's going to do it for everything, guys. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Ooh, it was fun. That was fun. All right. Ooh. So the million dollar question now, folks, is what is our raid message and who are we raiding? I'll look at the targets. Oh, uh, there's, there's a few good ones. There's Team, team, Sp team Spleen. Yep. Team Pi Spleen. ASMR. I forgot about that. Pi ASMR. Mm hmm. Uh, a true Musashi facts are the three, are three real good ones. Oops, I missed one from Snicker. It's going to be a low energy. It is four in the morning where, where East Coast is, to be fair. I'm just double checking. I didn't miss anything else here on Twitter. Doesn't True look like it. Facts. Uh, 
This is the last one I missed. Not sure what's compelling everyone to draw you as a Harvey, but hey, I ain't complaining. Uh, Snicker, I don't know if you're watching or if you just saw that on Twitter. Uh, we we found a monster monster maker thing on uh, Shinden Maker, or was it? I can't even remember the name of the site. Shinden, yeah, you got it right. Okay, Shinden and maker. yeah, and uh, one of the, my results was Harpy, so I got a lot of Harpy drawings. So there you go. Context. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we? Oh my god! Most people seem to want true Musashi facts. I guess that's the winner then. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you two, you two fuckers. It's good to be back. <laughs> it's good to have you back. Yeah. Or uh, alternate, you're welcome. <laughs> Alright, not many people I'm following live, so let's find someone new to raid. Uh... Actually, hang on. Done. Let's see what's going on. Ninja Gaiden. Ooh. What did you find? I found someone. Let me make sure they're actually. Yep, that's English. Oh, I almost wrote Team Musashi. <laughs> So, since Ninja Gaiden Black is my favorite Xbox game, it seems only fair to find someone streaming that, but they're streaming Ninja Gaiden Sigma, which is the PS3 and Vita port of the game. They are actually fighting the blimp boss. <laughs> nice. And, um, I get it, kind of. Because the guide says Damn I just have to stay in close. Oh, sounds like they're following a guide. Not a big so deal. Staying close, dodge the grab. Go give him some help. Then Oops, do it. And we lost our target. Get it right back on screen there. I got this. I got this. I got this. I think I got this. Oh, they're deep in concentration. Boy, good morning, y'all. Proton John. Proton John was here like nope, two years ago, is. and I brought up Superman 64, but I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> never. <laughs> good morning. Oh, it always comes full oh, circle. God. It always yeah. comes full circle. Currently in a Fucking struggle bus. Got right? him. <laughs> I'm going to go lick my wounds. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. All right, go give Alex some love. All right. Help him. We Help him, because he's probably problem. not also going to make the same mistake I did about not buying the thing at the shop. And I, and I will see you all on Monday for Game like Clearing, where we're going to do Game West. X. <laughs> Night, everybody. Luke. <sighs> What's up with the morning And now? no Robocop. I think I can. Disappointed! You know what? It only seems fitting after that. After, after Jeopardy DS. No, after, after that bit at the end. <laughs> just gonna, just gonna sit here and contemplate my life, really. It, al it always comes to this, doesn't it? <laughs>